What's good everybody welcome back to another video today We're gonna talk about everybody's favorite thing which is how to make money how to get free elites how to upgrade your team all of those uh, Important things if you've mobile some of the top skill moves as well um, I got to show you my favorite favorite skill move to use um, in FIFA mobile this season It is better than the roulette because the roulette is not great right now um, With people not having high dribbling stats is not the most effective one But one-on-one -on -one, if you can get this move down It will get you every single time and it is the advantage of having the double moves you can still have a player with the roulette um, but it's usually their secondary moves that are actually gonna help you out so how to make coins in FIFA mobile now you probably see a lot of videos where it's like you know people will tell you how to make coins and it's like, okay well you just like buy a bunch of players and then sell them on the market which is great except you have to get those players um, so that kind of makes it tough so I, I'm gonna I'm gonna be straight up with you at the start. Uh, a lot of uh, making coins in FIFA Mobile is, yeah, it's definitely a lot easier to make coins if you spend a bunch of money on the game and sell those players and, and do that. But you also, even if you do that, you kind of have to do that smart because you want to pick the right players to sell on the right promos um, or just get super lucky and pack Messi uh, or Ronaldo because if you look in the market, like yesterday I looked at Messi and he was like, what? 68 million or something 98 million so I guess you can open packs and hope you get lucky to get messy But I opened a lot of these 250 almost 2 million worth of these uh, These ones here this uh, this pack here and got nothing so uh, it's not really like the best way to try and go and try and get it that way um, So one of the things that is very helpful so we already made most of our coins through this um, Is to look and try and sell players right away so you can see right here for example This Gabriel card is not able to be on Auction, but he will be auctionable at a certain date. Um, so keep track of when these players go auctionable. Same thing with Team of the Week. Usually Team of the Week players don't go auctionable right away. So what you want to do is you want to be on the market um, and try and get on the market when those things drop. So if I go in here and look at this player, I can see that he won't be auctioned in 10, until 10.08. So the most that he's going to go for is usually right off the start. Because of how this works, the market sort of explodes with people buying it um, right off the bat. The other thing to look at is like how many players are being auctioned. So here, for example, nobody has 98 million coins. So Messi's probably not going to sell a ton because not a lot of players are actually going to be able to afford this Messi card. This is what happened with the Boxing Day promo cards last season is if not enough people are buying them, then you're not actually going to sell them as well. So it's going to be difficult to sell those cards. Um, as well, so don't be like, "Ooh, I can get Messi for you know 80 million. I'm gonna sell him for 90 million um, because he's like five million cheaper than the other ones." You probably won't get much out of there. Plus, with the market tax, you're not gonna get that as well. So I would say like a lot of people are very good at you know finding players on the market, buying them for cheap, uh, sniping them, those kind of things, and then selling them. But on FIFA Mobile, you really have to know what you're doing if you want to snipe the players. One way you can look at it is with the gold cards, but with the additional feature um, involved of telling you. The suggested prices sometimes that's not going to really help because the suggested prices um, has made it so that people are, are sometimes putting it there so one thing you could do is look at the players especially gold and see how much difference the that price is um, than the actual price that they're trying to be sold the other thing to, to look at is that when you're selling the players um, some of these players can actually you can actually get bronze players um, and gold players are going for a lot so these same cards yesterday were going for like 30 40 50 thousand um, so that's why like getting on right away when the market at all the videos you see will just be people claiming all of their rewards because they got on right when the market started they got there right away they sold all those players um, so that's sort of the first round but that keeps happening throughout all the different promos throughout the different things when team of the week happens every new week of team of the week if you can get them right away um, the one thing that was a really great way to make it last season which is not going to be the same as you'll see from here from Derby I don't think unless they change this um, is grinding your way to these top players because a card like this where only three people are going to get Van Dyke should be a very valuable card but it is not auctionable it doesn't look like it's going to become auctionable so if that starts changing uh, where your leaderboard rewards actually allow you to get specific players like they did in last season that could be a great way to earn coins well some of those cards like the first player to get head to head a uh, champion would sell them for like 79 80 million or something sometimes like you know like 200 million for some of the ones um, so you could make like tons and tons of coins um, that way if you're just trying to make coins though for day-to-day -day stuff you know leveling up players um, not able to, to buy the players sell the players those kind of things um, because the one way you get it basically is if you get a couple ones you maybe get lucky opening a pack but I don't really suggest it because like we'll look here we'll probably get nothing in this pack 
Like, I'll see what I get, but I doubt I'm gonna get anything big. So here we go, we get a 51, we have 51, we get 72. See, so we got 5,000 coins out of that pack. So usually, you're not gonna get a ton. You could get lucky, you got like a 2% chance to get lucky, um, but uh, that's one way. The biggest one we made money on last season was Team of the Year. Um, that was one if you could get some Team of the Year players, but again, we had to spend a lot of money to do that. So it kind of became more pay to win, and I don't really want to look at those strategies. I want to look more at like ways that you can get it for free, and I would say the best way to do that is, you know, grind out some of these promos these events like we have here with summer showdown you know go through try and get yourself an elite player take that one elite player and when it becomes auctional try and get on the market right away um, and get that sold now the other thing to look at though is that if you're trying to sell it right away sometimes the suggested price is not your best option to go with i tried to sell a bunch of players suggested price like 1.3 million or whatever and then they went on the market, but because so many people were using the suggested price, within five minutes, it was already below, because people are undercutting, undercutting, undercutting. And you want to try and sell it very, very quickly. You want to get rid of your cards. You might get lucky and be that person who sells it for 100 million, but most likely, you're gonna have to try and uh, you know undercut it a little bit, maybe a little bit less than they would do with the suggested price. Um, so you kind of take a quick look at what the prices are going for, those kind of things to sort of make your idea and then go a little bit lower than it. Um, I'm not a professional at the market, um, so I don't know like 100% like the exact percentage you could go, um, but there are lots of people that are very great at the market um, that you could talk to and stuff and check out like the Reddit forums and those kind of things. Um, but the other thing to think about too is that it's looking at, okay, so there are players you can buy lower, sell higher, those kind of things. I'm not gonna make a video specifically being like, this player is gonna be great because as soon as I do that, everybody's gonna start buying that player and basically it's gonna artificially inflate the market. And I don't wanna artificially inflate the market being like, hey, so this great looking bronze player is gonna be really good, buy like a thousand of them and then be, make a video about that. Um, but, you know, those are some ways that you can do it. You kind of anticipate, you know, maybe a good goalkeeper's coming up or maybe a, you know, a promo is, is coming up where it's gonna to have to do like Real Madrid players and France players could potentially go up in value uh, because you need them for the Zidane campaign. So that's one thing that could help and, and could be a more expensive thing. But at the same time, everybody else also, also kind of sees that like a lot of people already know that and so it's gonna make it tough you almost have to be ahead of the game when you're looking at those things um, so if you're not doing it that way if you're just trying to grind out coins, um, World Tour is a great way to do that, um, and, and for a few reasons. One of them is you get um, coins as you go along, so you get 1,000 coins, 3,000 coins, but you also get silver plus players. Um, so sometimes you get some gold players, get you a couple thousand coins, you know, if you get really lucky, you get an elite player, a couple thousand coins. So if you're trying to get yourself coins right now, one of the best ways to do it is just to grind through this world campaign. Um, you know, you can get a bunch of players for free, you can sell those players, you get a thousand coins there. Um, I can auto play a lot of these ones at the lower level and then you get all the players along and as you start getting towards the end um, You know, you're gonna start getting better and better 70 plus gold player 70 plus gold player 70 plus gold player All those cards are auctionable which means that by the end of this whole campaign 70 plus 70 plus 70 plus You're gonna have yourself, you know, maybe 50 60,000 maybe 100,000 coins that you can use um, and build on from there So that's another way you can do is just grinding through the world tour campaign um, Grinding through some of those events as well will be helpful um, You know going Going through playing your verse attack ones if you look at division rivals you do get coins for playing division rivals as well um, so you'll get coins for your rewards as you do your free rewards every single time um, you'll get them for your local leaderboard you'll get them for your actual leaderboard although I don't know the leaderboard is going to be working right now um, but anyways so those are some of the, the ways that you can kind of make coins in the game um, you know use the market as soon as it drops that's got to be the biggest one as soon as it drops a new promo when you know what's going to happen try and get on there for the market refresh follow on Twitter um, to see when those things are happening, um, you know, about what time those are going to launch, kind of be a part of that sort of discussion that's going on with there. Um, grind through the events is like kind of the main way to just sort of make, you know, coins for, for playing the game, up leveling players, playing the game your own way. But the other thing too, you know, don't be, you know, don't, you don't need 100 million coins, you know, build the team the way that you want as well. Um, so anyways, uh, the other thing that you can look at doing as well is if we go up here uh, to the top, as you keep going through the different quests, FIFA Mobile Master uh, Part 5 gets you a free elite. So if you want a free elite, you get to a Mobile Master Quest 5, Reef Pro 1 in Verse Attack and complete any World Tour from the Italy chapter and that will get you a free elite as well. Uh, so there are different ways you can get free elites throughout the season. Not tons of them, um, but that could help if you try and get to that early and 
and sell that. So one of the things is if you can grind to things that are auctionable right away, get them, sell them first, that can really help you or be on the market when new things drop. Uh, so I want to quickly show you this skill move at the end. Um, so again, we are like, we're rocking this one. We're, we're, we're at the top, but we got a lot of competition coming close on us. Um, so I'm a little nervous to, to stay at the top here. We have uh, second place coming on us, uh, third place. And this is the thing I really don't understand. Number one and two in my local leaderboard is number one and three on the global leaderboard. Like you gotta do something different um, than having the second place person, the third place person in the world not being able to get Lucas fast because only one person gets, I don't know, I think that's kind of a little strange. Um, but I'm gonna show you this move. So when we go in here, hold on, I'm gonna, I'll go in the, I'm gonna go in the player first. So if we go here to Dos Santos, so Dos Santos we can see he's got two moves, he's got flip flap and he's got roulette. Flip flap is actually like my favorite move in the game. This is the best skill move um, to use in a one-on-one -on -one situation in the game. I hope we get a situation to do it. I hope we get an opportunity to do it in this match um, to show you it in action. But basically, you can get past players so easily uh, when you're doing that. Much easier than the roulette because the roulette is so slow. You don't have enough time to sort of just push past players, so it's, it's much better um, to actually use the flip up move, uh, which is your swipe up move. And for most players, actually, the swipe up move is more effective one on one in these situations right now. So we'll start this off. Jesus also goes with this one. I think he also has a flip up, but here we go. So the Santos gets just gets a little, you see that just goes with a little fake to get in there. Uh, can get it past. He gets the great shot off right there. Shooting is a bit tougher right now, um, but this will help. The other thing to do if you are playing versus attack, uh, kick that ball out of bounds as soon as you can. So Martinez again, even his like uh, heel to heel, uh, not as effective, but still pretty effective when it's a one on one situation. So we go here. Martinez goes with it. You can see he tries to get past the player, so not quite the same level um, as the as the flip flop, but still a pretty decent move right there. So I really want to see one on one with our. Uh, I want to get a one on one here with Los Santos. I'll put this in the middle. Nope. Or Jesus, I believe he has it as well. Okay, here we go. So into the middle, Los Santos goes with it. Oh, I should just shot that. Okay, here we go. So Martinez, we'll put this into the middle. Goes with it there. Nice little play to get past him. Goes to get past him. Fabinho's gonna take that shot. He's gonna put it in the back of the net. Still, we haven't, I haven't, now that I'm like, oh, I need these one-on-one -on -one chances, I haven't had a single one-on-one -on -one chance. So that's not, that's not cool. We're winning the match at least. We're still, we're still crushing this match, but not exactly, oh wow, that was so far away. Okay. Okay, so we got the win, which is great. Uh, but what I really need to get is the, uh, is to showcase the moves. So we're gonna play the second match here. We're gonna see if maybe we can we can see it this time around. We go here. We'll just pop that one out to Martinez. I probably should have showcased it off the start, but I had that wide open Martinez, so I wanted to go with this. The so Santos gonna take it a little bit slow on there, and so it's gonna go wide, unfortunately. Puts this into the middle. Here we go. You can see it. Look at that. So he just gets past him, puts it in the back of the net. That's the kind of thing that I'm talking about. You just have that really nice, quick movement that he can go. Uh, I think we'll actually get the win at the end, unless they got that last second goal. But you see that, like, he just, you get into space, you can make such nice movement there. One-on-one, uh, -on -one, it's like, it's really an unbeatable move, I would say. It's one of my favorite moves to use in this one, um, is that, is just using that little, just that flip-flop move, just getting that fake in there, uh, getting past the player. So I would say that's definitely 100% my favorite move uh, in FIFA Mobile. Let me know which move you like using. But anyways, thank you for checking this out. Stop by. It's been a pleasure as always. Stop deep.